It was very exciting to be at the opening and the inaugural exhibition of the new Met Breuer building. The concept behind the new Met Breuer is really a space for their modern and contemporary collection and their inaugural exhibition is called Unfinished Thoughts Left Visible. The exhibition examines the concept of when a work of art is finished or unfinished. Sometimes the works are left incomplete by their makers for a variety of reasons. For example, in Alice Neal's portrait of James Hunter Black Drafty, the reason this work is unfinished is that the sitter, James Hunter, was drafted and couldn't come in for his second sitting. It's a beautiful series of Cy Twombly panels. Why are they in the exhibition? They look amazingly complete because they were still in the artist's studio at the time of his death, not in his catalogue raisonné, shown in a different order in his studio. So one is sort of uncertain what the artist's intention was. Were these ready to go or not? Of course, the night was populated with artists, from Jeff Koons to Bryce Martin to Xu Bing from China. I asked Jeff Koons how you know when a work of art is finished, and he said for him, it's when more energy is going out of the work than he's putting into it, and at that point he stops. It was also exciting to walk in and see the old and the new guard, Adam Weinberg, Tom Campbell, Philippe de Montebello, Max Anderson, Eli and Edie Brode were there, and of course there was Leonard Lauder, the glue that held the whole thing together. Well, I think one of the most radical features of this show is that it really was a cross-departmental curatorial initiative. That spirit of collaboration really came across in the show, and I think it's a harbinger of things to come for the Met. This is something that they can uniquely do because of the vastness of their collection, because of the superb quality of their collection, because of its encyclopedic nature. Sotheby's is so proud to be a major supporter for the Met Breuer and to be involved in these inaugural festivities as well as the really exciting program they have developed for years to come.